Hey, uh, it's Jared Cohen here with uh, Cohen Academy. Uh, got some new exciting paddles to show you guys. Uh, just got the box here for Rhombus. Um, I actually use Rhombus from May till November. Uh, big fan of their paddles. Um, I think for a vast majority of people, it's a good blend between power but still having good control. Not too much that you can't keep it in the court. Got really good spin. Um, I really like their shapes. So the one they sent me um, is called the R1 and R3. So the R1 is kind of like that Yola Hyperion shape with that curved top. And the R3 is more of that traditional. So, I mean, I think the first one was that Franklin with Ben Johns. Um, the Carbon 1X or Carbon 1 is that same shape. Um, it's elongated with the flat top. I like the longer handles. So, uh, both those rhombuses are in that 5.5, but it's really more than that with the taper on the throat. So, I uh, just got it here. Um, What's also really cool is these new rhombuses, they have what I think are the coolest looking edge guards right now in pickleball. It's kind of like a baby blue. Um, so I'll show it to you here, and it looks like they did it in the grip, although I'm usually using an over grip anyway, but they do look really nice. Um, they kind of look a little bit like the Volaires. Uh, hopefully uh, Dominant Rhombus doesn't get mad at me for saying that. Uh, the big joke is they're always saying that those two companies uh, are kind of copying each other. So here it is. Really cool design right here. So I think they're doing something with an edge grid around the perimeter. But man, this thing looks sweet. It's kind of like a silver here of the rhombus. And I actually like how it is on each side because I'll use that to try to stay even with the lead tape. Handle feels really good. I think the rhombuses have the best handles in the game. They just have very pronounced bevels. It doesn't cut into you, but it really helps you whether you're continental or semi-western. Um, some of the grips are too square or they have exposed polymer where it's kind of like squishy on the sides. These I just really feel like I can set my hand and they're not too big. So I think the gearbox are too small, and then some of the engages are too big. So it's like right in that right size. It's not too blocky or square. I guess it's considered kind of an octagon. So this feels really good. This is the paddle I used to use, probably the longest with Rhombus, the R1. So this one's called the Pulsar FX R1. So I use the Pulsar R1. The FX is the new series. I think they're coming out in a month. Um, you know, I'm part of their ambassador program. And, um, you know, you still pay for the paddle, but you get a uh, significant discount, you know, assuming you're willing to review the paddle and give them advice. So this one's the R3. See that uh, flat top? Usually these have a little more power, a little more swing weight. Um, sometimes that can be a little better for drives. And I noticed like the R3s, the drives tend to sit up a little bit more. And like I'll tend to miss more long, the ball keeps carrying. And the R1s, it's a little bit of a higher pitch sound, a little tighter, I'd say better with dinks. And but the drives, if I miss, it tends to be in the net. So it's more of like a linear shot. So in the past, I actually for just hitting around casually, I think the R3 is kind of more fun, but you know, money's on the line. I got a tournament. I just feel more confident, especially with Duras, um, with just kind of that stiffer feel of the R1. Uh, maybe not quite as much power, um, but you know, you can generate your own power, but the control is really important. I think, you know, really at any level of play, you want something that you feel confident keeping drops and dinks and resets down and uh, unattackable. Um, so I'll hit the courts um, in a couple days. I've got a big tournament tomorrow, so I don't want to be changing paddles right now. Um, but when I get back, you know, either on Sunday or Monday, I'll hit with them and uh, have more of a follow-up review.
but uh, really like the update on the design. I think they have a little more power, which I really like the idea of that. And then the Ripple, I think, is really going to change the market. That'll be coming out in a couple months, so I'm really excited for Rhombus. You know, this year, I think they're, you know, they really made a breakthrough last year, and I think this is really just like the next advancement for their company. So, paddles look really good. I mean, how cool do these look? Uh, well, stay tuned, and uh, I'll give you a follow-up review in a couple days.